You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. Sending me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio Tales of a New Dawn. We're doing Brian's path still. So anyway, y'all, I mean, not Brian's path, we're doing Diego's path still, so let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next, eight, for next uh, 15 to 16 minutes while I entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> and a refreshing change of pace for Diego and me, our morning commenced with something of a, new, of a date at a newly opened local cafe. Two of us had been seated at a table close to the windows and were in the process of biding our time. You know, Diego, it's kind of weird that you're here for your work. You're here in your work clothes. Shh. These are only my, these are all my only fancy clothes. I didn't want to go out on a date in my usual getup. It's not that I don't appreciate the effort, but you really didn't need to dress up for this. Got to look good for my boyfriend. Besides, you're a little dressed up yourself. What? This is what I wear every day. Well, it's nice, and I don't want to be outclassed. Anyway, hopefully you hopefully those two arrive soon. I'm famished. Get all the food I can get before my next fight. Oh, yeah, so what's your plan for it anyway? Well, there's no time to do a whole lot. I'm hoping the next guy isn't as strong as Logan was. There isn't time to bridge that kind of power gap. I was hoping to get some training from Ty, but as you know, he's working today. And like an idiot, I didn't think to get Logan's phone number. Not that he'd be much help anyway, that leg of his, and that's assuming he'd even be willing to help. It's rough. I managed to beat Russell, but Logan was in a whole other league. I got really, really lucky. I just... I don't know if I can win this next one. But, uh... I guess it doesn't matter too much if I don't. I've got you, and you're still the best prize. That's the spirit, I, I guess. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna give everything I've got. But it's like, I guess losing ain't that big of a deal. Russell and Logan lost, and they both took it pretty well. I don't want to be a sore loser. I want to be more like them. They're good examples to learn from. What time do you start work today, Brian? Uh, two in the afternoon. Why's that? Would you mind sparring with me before you go? I need all the help I can get. Of course, it'd be my pleasure. Just don't beat me up too badly, okay? I don't want to be limping into work while I'm, while I, like I'm Logan or something. Huh, <laughs> I can't promise anything, but I'll try to be gentle. So, uh, have you ever done this sort of thing before? What do you mean? This thing that we're doing here. No, nope, I can't say I have. Neither. Don't you think it's a little weird? Honestly, not really. They're our friends, and we've all hung out before. It's some kind of... it's some thing. Kind, it's the same thing, kind of. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, speaking of, they're finally here. Hey, guys! Good morning. Ha! See, Brian? I'm not the only one in their work clothes. In my defense, I didn't expect to be dating anybody this suddenly. I haven't had the chance to go shopping yet. It's nice that you guys are putting in the effort. I feel like the odd one out. Come now, Axel. You look as amazing as ever. It's a lovely outfit. Oh, thanks, Dom. Ha! Look at that. One comment and he's already squirming. That's hilarious and adorable. Adorable? I I'm not! Oh, hush, Axel. Yeah, you totally are. Now, we've kept these boys waiting long enough. I'm sure Diego is absolutely famished. Too right. Practically dying of starvation over here. You poor thing. Shall we look over our menus, Axel? The two of them sat down with us at our table and began deciding what to, what to order. Have either of you guys been here before? Nope. Didn't this, didn't this place only open up a few weeks ago? You might be right. There's so many businesses opening up around here, it's hard to keep track. And to think city officials were worried what would happen what had happened when Woodcrest when a what happened to Woodcrest when the gold dried up. It seems as though Woodcrest is thriving now more than ever. Oh, this place was a mining town? You didn't know that. It was established nearly a hundred years ago when gold could be found in the rivers and lakes. Turned out there was a ton of it in the fountain in the mountains too. It slowed down after a bit, but the mining only really stopped a decade or so back. Despite that, Woodcrest is still growing. I guess people just really like it here. I mean, I know I do. It's peaceful and small, but it has heaps of things to see and do. Yep, I love it here. I couldn't imagine moving back to Somervale now. Besides, Dom is here. Well, you know, I'd follow you. I'd follow you if you did move back home. But I'm happy here too. I'm glad. Good morning, gentlemen. And what a fine-looking bunch of gentlemen you are. What? Oh, hot dragon stud. Oh, boy. Come over here, big fella. Oh, God. What is wrong with me? Ah! Me and my attraction to dragons. My name is Jay, and I'll be your server today. Say, you two look like a pair of decisive studs. 
I can only assume you both know exactly what you're after. Huh? You order, handsome. That delightful belly of yours must be rumbling fiercely after having waited for so long. It truly is my pleasure to finally be able to serve you now, you now that your company has arrived. Yo, Brian, what is the deal with this guy? I think he's just gay as hell, Diego. Oh. Ooh, I'll make him super gay. Huh. Well, uh, can I have the country breakfast? Most certainly you may. And what, pray tell, does your handsome companion over yonder wish to order? Huh? Me? Oh, yes. Perhaps handsome was an adequate, wasn't an adequate identifier, as, as you, my good sir, are positively to die for. I was beginning to feel like gay as hell was something of an understatement. I, uh, what do you recommend? What's the tastiest thing here? Well, as much as I loathe to disappoint my esteemed guests, I regret to inform you that I am not on the menu. I, uh, I'll just have what Diego's having. Diego, eh? What a lovely name for such a handsome fellow. Jay winked at Diego, which caused him to burst out laughing. I can't believe this guy! Ah, but believe, my good man, for soon I shall return your breakfast in hand. And what about the two of you handsome young devils? I can only surmise you are both ready to order as well. I'll have the pancakes! Ah, the most famous choice for the most gorgeous young cheetah. Dom's expression fell in response to Jay's flirtatious demeanor, clearly annoyed that anyone would have the gall to flirt with his new man. And you, my delicious fiery fox. I'll take the omelet. Ah, yes, yes, a terrific choice. Our omelet will soon be the pride of Woodcrest, mark my words. How do I, how I do enjoy a table of handsome and decisive men. You mine? Ah, that must be my cue. I shall return meals in hand post-haste. Sensing Dom's frustration, Jay fluttered away like a butterfly on the wind, the spring behind the counter as the four of us watched. Yo, Dom, everything cool? Yeah. It's okay, Dom, he doesn't have a chance. Ooh, what? He's jealous. He's just protective of me. It's okay. Sorry, I got a touch worked up. You've been after Axel for a long while, right? I understand. I know, old habits die hard, I guess. It would, it would seem I'm a bit insecure. Don't worry, you know you're the only guy I want. Huh, this is so weird. I've known them all this time, and now it's like they're totally different with each other. I kind of like it. It's a fun dynamic. It's different for us, too. We spent so much time together since we met, gone running together, played video games, explored abandoned buildings, but it's like now there's so much more we can do together. Huh, <laughs> spare us the details, we can only imagine. Oh, right, that reminds me, you guys went and explored that abandoned building in the woods, right? We did, yes. How, uh, how'd that go? It was kind of spooky. For you, maybe. To be honest, it was something of a letdown. Looked like whoever last lived there moved out long ago. Loved moved out a long, long time ago, and since then, it's just been left to rot. There are a few old knickknacks left lying around, but other than that, nothing. Um, you didn't find a trapdoor or anything. Trapdoor? No. Why? Was there like a rug or anything in the entranceway? I think so. Axel? Yeah, there was. You didn't look underneath? No. Why? Did you go looking yourself for something? Not exactly. Uh, I forget I said anything. What's all this about? Uh, don't worry about it. Ah, oh, but we want to know! Ah, fine. It's gonna sound stupid, but I dreamt of the place. It's like you said, there was nothing much there, but under that rug there was a trap door. I don't know if it's really there or not, but it was just a dream, but... Well, whatever was down there was bad news. What happened? Got chased out by something, or someone. Kinda looked like Spencer. Yo, what? Why'd you never tell me? Because it was a dream? It's not like it means anything. The weird part is, I hadn't met Sp I hadn't met Spencer yet when I had that dream, but it sure looked like him. Is that why you're so interested in the guy? No, not really. What really got me interested was when nobody would or could or would or, or would or could talk about him. That's why that's why I was interested. Otherwise I'd just have left it alone. The whole thing was weird, but anyway, Axel, Dom, promise me you won't go back there? I have a bad feeling about that place. That explains why you seem so against coming with us. Don't worry, though. We weren't planning on returning. Sounds scary. I don't want to go back either. So, Diego, are you prepared for your fight tomorrow? After the trouncing I just got? Not one bit, but I'll still do my best. I I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad to hear you're not giving up, though. Behold my, behold my most handsome quartet. I have returned bearing gifts of culinary excellence. Jay had returned with our orders, delicately placing Axel's and Dom's on one table before them. Thank you. You are more than welcome, my handsome feline patron. Axel blushed in response to Jay's compliment, 
Dom looked noticeably annoyed by the situation, and then he did something none of us expected. He suddenly grabbed Axel by... He suddenly grabbed Axel and pulled him into a kiss all the while holding eye contact with Jay. Well, if that's not the most adorable thing I've seen all week, aren't you two just so precious? Heh, <laughs> I'm sorry about him, he's a touch protective. No need for apologies, my good man. My heart is a flutter having bored witness such an adorable performance. Jay placed both mine and Diego's orders down before us. Forgive me for asking, but my curiosity has gotten the better of me. I can only wonder if the two of you make such a delightful pairing. Huh, are you for real? Diego turned to me and I just shrugged. He grinned in response. I guess we were, we were doing this. Diego and I both leaned towards one another and shared a brief yet passionate kiss. The look on Jay's face was priceless. Ah, oh, the four of you lovely hunks have made my week. But alas, I have customers yet to serve. Please do call on me should you need anything. And with that, he departed once more, leaving Diego and me quietly giggling between ourselves. Axel a shade of bright red and Dom looking somewhat furious about the whole situation. That guy is a riot. Heh, <laughs> woo. I don't like him. Axel shrugged and Dom grunted in response. With a mutual shrug, the two started on the breakfast. All the while, Diego and I were awestruck by the size of our meals, not knowing where to begin. Diego started with the hash browns, taking a single large bite before pausing suddenly. Whoa, these might be the best hash browns I've ever tasted. In response to Diego's enthusiasm, I took a bite of my own, coming to a very similar conclusion. Holy shit, you're right! How's your food, Axel? So good, Dom. A little unusual for an omelette, but pretty good, though. Verdict, the verdict's in. Ty has some competition. Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to ask. You two left the other fighter. What happened there? Left with the other fighter, okay. Oh, we took him up on the hot springs in the north of town to soothe his pain. No big deal. Whoa, there are hot springs here? I never knew. Dom, we gotta go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not allowed to wear clothes there, are you? Huh? Well, that explains Logan's sudden nudity. Oh, I don't think I want to go anymore. What? You don't want to see me naked? Uh, no, that's not... I mean, I do, it's just... Ah! <laughs> the three of us finished our meals while Jay pranced back and forth between tables. We chatted for a, we chatted for a short while longer before we, sent, we went our separate ways. According to Dom, Axel and him had some undisclosed business to attend to. Diego and I had a little while before I had to get back to work. Plenty of time for sparring, as well as whatever else I had I wanted to do to fill my day. I could head straight home with Diego, or I could burn some time in town if I wanted to. The choice was mine. Uh, not really anything to do. Time to get on with my man. Oh yeah. Upon my arrival back home, I decided to make good on my promise to spar with Diego. The both of us swapped out our nicer, out of our nicer clothing into something more casual, and met in the living room ready to begin. Between us, we shifted furniture out of the way to clear a space for our brawl. When all was said and done, we reconvened, we reconvened in the space we had created, to stare at really rearing just to get started. Ready to get your ass kicked? As ready as I'll ever be, go a little easy on me. Maybe a little, I can't promise anything. With a shrug, I raised my fist, ready to spar with him, and Diego followed suit. We had to be careful. After all, we didn't have a great deal of room, and I didn't want to break anything. I started by moving in and throwing a couple of punches, which Diego easily blocked. Next, I tried to trip him up. Unsuccessfully, mind you. He threw a punch my way, which I managed to avoid. I for him to trip me during my dodge and send me falling to the floor. Diego got down, pinned me, and then planted a kiss right on my nose before he picking me back up. Hey! Do you do this with all of your opponents? Maybe in their dreams. With a chuckle, Diego threw up his fists again, and we continued to spar. On one of his punches, I tried to grab his arm and pivot again behind him. Alas, he was prepared for this and broke free of my, ga my grasp. He then grabbed me and gently tossed me over his head. Of course, despite being gentle, there was little I could do to break free, and I just tumbled to the ground once more. He pinned me again before I look of mischief crossed his face. Before getting back up, he pulled my shirt over my head and gave me a, my belly a big lick. Hey, what was that? You're gonna have to fight better than that, or next time I'll do something worse. Honestly, I was kind of interested to find out what. That being said, Diego wouldn't benefit from any of this training if I didn't give him everything I had. He pulled me back to my feet and the two of us began sparring once more. This time I went straight in and threw several of my strongest punches at Diego one of them landing square on his belly and winding him ever so slightly. He retaliated with a leg sweep, which I jumped over before throwing several more punches. He punched from the right side, which I dodged, right into his left fist. I should have seen that coming. It was a move he used in his tournament, af tournament fights, after all. Nonetheless, the force of the punch sent me back to the ground where Diego pinned me once again. This time he removed my pants and gave my- Oh, God! Hey! Diego laughed and pulled me back to my feet. One more round and you've lost. 
Oh my. What? We're doing actual rounds here? Well, there's only one more item of clothing I can confiscate. What are you planning to do? Lose this round and you'll find out. I pulled myself back to my feet. I was inevitably going to lose anyway, but I sure wasn't going down without a fight. Our final round began with Diego going on the aggressive... on the aggressive. Throwing several punches I narrowly managed to avoid before surprising me with a tackle which took me straight to the ground. The whole affair was incredibly short-lived and a little embarrassing on my part. I accepted my defeat and awaited Diego's punishment. Yo, did you even try there? You caught me by surprise! Nah, I think you wanted to lose. Well then, if you have no objections, I'll be taking my prize now. I looked up at Diego towering over me from, from above and resigned myself to my fate. Whatever was coming, I knew I'd probably enjoy it. No objections. Heh, <laughs> good. He could reach down and pick me, pick me up off the floor, shifting me to the relaxed position on the couch. I watched in anticipation, wondering what he was going to do next. Oh my god! Well, looks like I've got a... <sighs> yep, I just knew it was going to happen. Oh well, that's not going to be too hard to block out. Alright y'all, anyway, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!